Daniel 9, verse 7. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces. But unto us confusion of faces. Our nation has confused their faith for every other nation under the sun. You have the black man that confuses his face for the African. Many of our Latin brothers, they confuse their face for the Arab or the white man. Read it again. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces, as at this day, to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off, through all the countries whither thou hast driven them because of their trespass that they have trespassed against thee. So we suffer confusion of face because of our trespasses. We have sinned against the Most High. He allowed us to go into captivity. Our nationalities were changed. Now we suffer confusion of faces, meaning we confuse our face for every other race that's out there. You have many black brothers that jump up and say, anybody black, we all the same. No. A cat. A dog has enough sense to know that a black cat and a black dog is not the same. All right, if you guys don't know, we got multiple parts to this. Um, the next part is going to be faith and persecution and the history thereof. Faith in persecution and the history thereof. Because understand that the persecution is coming. Since you understand that the persecution is coming, you have to build your faith. You have to have the faith to withstand it. You have to have the faith and the patience to endure it. Go to Hebrews chapter 6 verse 4. Hebrews 6 and 4. Read that. The book of Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 4. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. So it said it is impossible once you've been enlightened and you tasted of the heavenly gift. Once you understand that you're an Israelite and the way to salvation is to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. It's impossible what? Read. And have tasted the good word of God and the power of the world to come. If they shall fall away. If you die. Read. To renew them again unto, the, unto repentance, seeing they crucified to themselves the Son of God afresh, and put him to an open shame. So it's impossible if you turn away from this truth once you know it and you mess around and then die. It's impossible to be renewed. It's impossible for us to renew you. Once you've tasted of this truth and you turn away from it, then you mess around and die. Now, obviously, you understand that there's no repentance now. It's impossible to get renewed. From there, go to 1 Peter. I mean, excuse me, 2 Peter 2. Start at verse uh, 20. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 2 and verse 20. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world. So now it's going to explain. Because remember, it's impossible to renew yourself once you turn away from this truth. Read. Through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worked with them. You see that? You become worse than what? Than the beginning. But then when you were before you ever even knew the truth. It's just like the proverb. Read. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness. Than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. You see that? It would have been better for you not to ever known it. Than to know it than turn away. The proverb says it's like a dog going back to his vomit. So you have to understand that. Now it's time to build your faith to be able to withstand the persecution that is coming. Matter of fact, it's here. So understand that. Go to um, back to Hebrews chapter 6 and read verse 6 again. The book of Hebrews chapter 6 verse 6. Uh -huh. If they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance. If you fall away to renew you again to repentance, read. Seeing they crucified to themselves the Son of God afresh. 
and put him to an open shame. Watch this. Let's get an example. Go to 2 Chronicles chapter 33. 2 Chronicles, because we will go into the history as well, to show you that it's always been the same. This has always been our feet. 2 Chronicles 33. Uh, start at verse 11. The book of 2 Chronicles chapter 33 and verse 11. Uh huh. Wherefore the Lord brought upon them the captains of the host of the king of Assyria, which took Manasseh among the thorns, and bound him with fetters, and carried him to Babylon. So Manasseh was under persecution. We went into captivity, right? We had to deal with that while we were what? Raising up. While we was trying to be someone or be our what? While we were trying to be our what? Real quick. quick one quick question. Trying to be our what? You can say be ourselves, but be our what? Nobody? Brother John. Trying to be ourselves as in be our original purpose for the earth. So while we were trying to be our original selves, trying to be in our original position on this earth, we always had to suffer persecution. There was always something or someone withstanding or going against us. So now it's time to have that faith to endure through it. Because you are going to get, um, not just your adversary, but, but what is it? Coming against? Coming against you, give me the word. You're going to get... Uh, Opposition, thank you. You're going to get opposition. You will have opposition. Read on. And when he was a, and when he was in affliction, he when, be, when Manasseh was in affliction, read, he besought the Lord his God. Right. He had the faith to stay with God. He besought him. He said, you know what? He cried out to the Lord, read. And humbled himself greatly before the God of his father. And humbled himself, read on. And prayed unto him. And he was entreated of him, and heard his supplication, and brought him again to Jerusalem into his kingdom. Then Manasseh knew that the Lord, he was God. Then, the, then Manasseh knew, God is with me. He, then his faith became substance. He understood that, oh, my God will fight for me. My God will make things happen for me as long as I withstand and keep my faith. Long as I withstand, keep my faith, keep my patience, guess what? God is going to be with me. He's going to deliver me through anything. That's what you must understand, especially right now today. When you have everyone coming against you from your friends, your family, your uh, co-workers, whatever it is in life that you have to go through, there's always someone trying to tell you that is wrong what you're doing. Don't do that. Go to James chapter 1. So in having our faith, what else should we have? In having our faith, what else should we have? Another question. With our faith, what else should we possess with our faith to endure to the end? In addition to faith, sir, you have to have works. Works? Okay, that's true. What else? To endure to the end, what else? Oh, uh, you need uh, patience and discipline? You need patience and discipline, correct. You need patience. That's what we go touch on. Go to James 1, verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. So count it all joy going through the persecution, read. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Right, because that's what's going to happen. If it, it's, it's already happening at some level. It's the... It's going to heat up. It's going to heat up. It's going to get whatever you think right now today is bad. It's going to get worse. All right? The Most High God has to try us. He must make sure that we're worthy to enter into the gates. Are we faithful enough? Are we his faithful servants? So the trying of your faith, work patience, read. But let patience have her perfect work. Uh-huh. That ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Right. 
Because with the patience, you have your perfect work, and then you end up wanting nothing, right? The kingdom. Read on. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, uh -huh. and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Read. But let him ask in faith. So you must ask in faith. If you're asking for wisdom and understanding of your situation and what's going on, you must ask in faith what? Nothing wavering. You cannot waver. That's what the Most High God is looking for. When you have your faith and you ask in faith of wisdom and understanding, you can't waver in your faith. You cannot waver. You can't be thinking, well, maybe... It's not right no more. Or maybe I need to try something different. No. The, the Bible is specific into how we get our glory. How we achieve salvation. Alright? Especially with the persecution at hand. You cannot waver in your faith. Is that it on that? No, sir. For he that waver, wavereth is like a wave of the sea. Driven with a wind and toss. Because that's what's going to happen. You'll be destroyed. You know, you'll be tossed to and fro. From there, go to uh, Matthew 24, verse 6. Matthew 24, verse 6. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 6. Uh -huh. And ye shall hear of wars, and rumors of wars. Read. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things... So remember... Oh, Mr. Caleb was already going over the fact that Christ was letting his disciples know about what's to come. He said, don't be troubled over that, Read For all these things must come to pass. Read. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Right. All these are the beginnings of sorrows. Read. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. You, you will be delivered up to be afflicted. It's going to happen. Read. And shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Right. Same thing we already read previously. You're going to be hated of everyone for my name's sake. Read on. And then... Shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. It said, then many will be offended, hating one another, right? It said, many will be offended. Hold that, go to Matthew 13. Matthew 13, 18. It said, many shall be offended. The book of Matthew, chapter 13, and verse 18. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sword. Uh -huh. When one heareth the word of the kingdom, and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one, and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. Read, it said, when one heareth the word, and understandeth it is not, then you immediately have what? The wicked one saying, hey, yeah, see, that ain't right. Because you don't understand it, read. This is he which receiveth seed by the wayside. So when that's what will happen. You'll end up believing the wicked one for because you don't truly understand it. Read. But he that receiveth the seed into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word, and anon with, with joy receiveth it. And that's immediately. Anon means immediately. He heareth the word, and immediately with joy he receives it. Read. Yet have he not root in himself, uh -huh. but dureth for a while. For with tribulation or persecution arises. You see that? Because with tribulation and persecution arises. Read. Because of the word, by and by he is offended. Because he's what? He is offended. You, he becomes offended soon as that thing happens. That's what Christ is talking about. But go to Matthew 11, 6. We can drop 13. We're coming back to 24. Matthew 11 and 6. But what does the scripture say? Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 11 and verse 6. Uh-huh. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. It says, blessed is he whosoever not be offended. Whosoever shall not be offended. Back to Matthew 24. The book. Pick back up at 10. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 10. 
And then shall many be offended, uh -huh. and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's what's going on today. The love of many is wax cold. That's another form of persecution because it's going to happen within us. That's what Christ is explaining, read. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. But you must endure to the end. Jump up to verse 36. Verse 36. See, let's make sure that he's talking about it's going to happen within us. Read. Verse 30, you want 36 or 24? 24, 36, yeah. Okay, the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. Because no one's going to know that day and hour. The same thing Officer Caleb pulled out. Christ told him, like, look, no one knows. Read. No, not, angel, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Only the Most High God knows. So you must endure to that time. Read. But as the days of no word. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Just like in the days of Noah, it's always been the same. Just like right before the flood. Just like right before he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. It's, we're right back at the same point all over again. Read. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and uh -huh. drinking, marrying. Read. And giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered unto the ark. Read. And do not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So shall also the same thing happen now. Drop down to 42. Verse 42. Watch therefore. Uh -huh. For ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this. That if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come. He would have watched. And would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready. For in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a who then is, is who then is a faithful and wise servant, uh -huh. whom his Lord have made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season. Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord when he cometh shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But, and if that evil servant shall stay in his heart. But, if you be that evil servant, not the faithful servant to endure, to have the patience, to keep the faith inside of this persecution and tribulation that is at hand. If you be that evil servant, read. But that. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord, the land is coming. If you lose your patience and you start to lack faith and think that the day is never going to happen, read. And shall begin to smite his fellow servant. You end up being offended and smiting your fellow servant. It's going to happen within us. That's the other form of persecution. Read. And to eat and drink with the drunken, the Lord of that servant. Then you turn into worse than what you ever was before. Read. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, uh -huh. and shall cut him asunder. Then you will get your judgment for losing your faith. So we must endure through the persecution. You will turn into the persecutor. Losing your faith. You, tar you start to smite your own fellow servant. Because now you don't have your faith. And you lack your patience. And now you have turned into the evil servant. Read. And appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Right. Because now you turned away from this faith. And there was no way to renew you at this point. Go back to Hebrews chapter 6. Go to drop down to verse 10. The book of Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 10. Uh -huh. For God is not unrighteous to forget your works and labor of love. So that's what we have to remember. God's not unrighteous to forget this thing. Long as we continue to endure. Read. Which ye have shown toward his name. In that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Read. And we desire that every one of you 
do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. That's the desire that we all show the same full assurance and hope unto the end. Read. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them. That we be not slothful. Read. But followers of them who through faith and patience. Through faith and patience. Be followers of us through faith and patience. Read. Inherit the promises. That's how we're going to inherit the promises. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth